Hey, welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us today in the Wells Tech Garage for this week's episode of Counterpoint. Once again, joined here by Adam, the parts master. Mm -hmm. How's it going today, yeah, it's Adam? It's going well. It's going well. We're talking about my favorite solenoid in the world, Your favorite I think. solenoid. You yes. got a lot of personal experience yes, with this I one, do. don't you? Yes, I do. So, so what, what do we got here? So we have Wells part number is TCS 74. So. TCS, like a transmission control solenoid. That's it. Exactly. Right. Easy to remember. Um, 89, 1989 to 2017 Chrysler front wheel drive transmissions, A604, wow. 40TE, 41TE transmissions. Let's just run that back in. 89 yeah. to 2017. How many other parts out there have been used almost 30 years on a vehicle? That's just crazy. Yeah. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing in terms of Chrysler's transmission technology, yeah. but, but it is there. interesting. They're out there and uh, I'm sure someone out there has seen this. I'm, I'm sure. Seen it, so. Yeah, yeah. So, so what do we get in the box? So first of all, this is covered in oil. So, and this okay. is natural. This is not like a leak or anything like that. This is, this is oil It's supposed that to be covered it. in oil. Yes, it Just is. like when you guys take a brake rotor out of a box, it's covered in oil, right? Exactly. Just to help Just keep it from center. rusting when it's sitting in the box. And the big thing here too is, this is the gasket. This okay. This isn't held on by RTV or anything like that. This right. is a gasket. So you install so. this gasket, gasket mm -hmm. clean and dry mm -hmm. onto, the, uh, onto the surface of the solenoid pack. Mm -hmm. And, uh, there are some some holes on here, some some uh, mounts that this gasket will actually sit on. It's going to sit on here, only one direction, and it's going to mount up perfectly on there, so that you can install this thing without the gasket falling off. Exactly. Which so. which is kind of nice. Yeah, there's no need to put any kind of gasket hole right. or anything like that. Let's say a, a water pump or something. Like right. That. But, so yeah. Now uh, this solenoid pack is actually kind of unique. You know, we get a lot of calls down in the tech department regarding transmission codes and uh, solenoid codes and transmission problems and that kind of thing in general. Mm -hmm. And people are trying to replace individual solenoids and that kind of thing. And, and first of all, this is an entire solenoid pack. So it this is. is gonna include all the solenoids that are inside the trans, normally inside of the transmission are all included in this pack. And this mm -hmm. is externally mounted. Mm -hmm. So back in 89, when, when Chrysler decided to engineer this thing, they thought it'd be a good idea to just Plop this right on the side of the uh, on side of the transmission, mm -hmm. which is really nice for us as uh, as yeah. technicians. It's a lot easier to replace than pulling off the you know transmission pan and the valve body. Maybe you know all that all that hard work. This thing comes off pretty easy. There's just a few bolts in there. There is. And uh, uh, the big thing with it externally mounted is like I said, there's there's dirt possibilities. It's in an area sure. that gets dirty, so making sure it's clean. Right. And, uh, Transmissions really, really like uh, a clean environment. Yes. yes. And this and is no sure exception. the gasket comes off with it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You Sometimes don't want to double this, gasket it. This gasket so. can stay stuck on the transmission mm -hmm. side. So just get a flashlight in there. Make sure it's all all clean yeah, it's and dry. Dark down. It's dark in that area. So right. definitely. So. so now this this solenoid. What uh, you said you've got personal experience yes, with it. What have it. you What have you seen with this? Thing? Well, my big thing with it has been leaks. Okay. I have uh, three hundred thousand miles of experience on our own vehicle with it. All so right. the the leaks definitely and okay. uh, our so one, where did it where so, did it leak? So or it leaks right around this uh, this portion here where between the, the bodies here between okay. the, the front here with the electronics All right. and that. Because this that. is actually like two pieces here. Exactly. All right. so. In fact I just want to talk a little bit to that quickly. Yes. There's a cover on here guys. There's an electronic portion of the solenoid and then there's the actual mechanical mm -hmm. solenoids in here. The electronic portion comes pre bolted on here. It says right on here caution Removing cover can alter calibration, replace, do not repair. Well, yes. first of all, that tells me that there have been people out there trying to replace sure. this thing, probably due to leaks, right? Yes. The original ones were especially leak prone. Sure, so, so, so way back in the, the, in the 90s and 90s stuff, these the things 90s. were common to leak. Mm -hmm. And they would leak right on the seam between the, mm -hmm. uh, let's call it the electronic part and the mechanical part. It was a major part of the leaks. So okay. You could have leaks around a gasket too, but that was one of them. And that's why they put that on there because of that. So okay, you, sure. You don't want to pull so it apart do not pull this it. cover off. And uh, that's one of the big things. Right. <laughs> and don't put RTV in this gasket no. either. You'll plug up all the uh, all the holes and it's not going to work. Yep, exactly. Um, as for service information on this thing, this is relatively easy to replace. Like I said, just a few bolts. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the service information, there is one last step and that is doing a performing a TCM relearn procedure. Um, it is needed, a scan tool is needed to do that. 
uh, but it is highly, highly recommended. I mean, it's right in the mm -hmm. service information. And what that's going to do is that's going to relearn the values for the shift points and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, these solenoid packs will learn over time um, for maybe some slipping in the transmission or something mm -hmm. like that. Fluid quality, stuff like that. Stuff like that, mm -hmm. yeah. So we want to we want to relearn our transmissions when we put in a new solenoid pack. Also installing it, you are going to lose some fluid. Now you're not going to lose fluid like you pulled the pan off the bottom yeah, or anything like that, but you are going to lose some fluid, so make sure to top it off um, afterwards with uh, the Chrysler fluid. Yep, the ATF plus four. So All right. the other thing too, I, you know, from experience on these is that mm -hmm. on the early, early mid 90s up to like I think 98, they had a sound shield around these. Okay, a sound because, shield. Uh, because at the one, at the original ones did this buzz tick kind of sound that okay. you hear them. You don't hear them as much now anymore, but you hear them. You heard them on the earlier ones, and, uh, and that was the the solenoids were actually working, yes. and the thing was working fine. It was a normal concern exactly. for the sound, so they put a shield around it yep. to try and quiet it for the uh, consumer. Well, about you know, late nineties, ninety nine or so, they two thousand, they got rid of that buzz tick sound. This is a much quieter solenoid. Okay. So we've had questions on the. Uh, in, in uh, my department mm -hmm. on what to do with that sound shield. Well, oh. Right from Chrysler, they discard that. So okay. the solenoid will install, just like the old one, looks the same, but it's quieter, and you throw that sound. Okay, you so you don't have to put it, that sound shield you back on. Do, I don't, you know, but it's not usable on, okay. on, a, on this solenoid any, anymore. So. Sure, so there have been some redesigns, some, mm -hmm. some um, perfection towards this part. Yes. I mean, if something's been on something since 1989, yeah. I would hope there's some uh, advancements in exactly. it. Exactly. Um, so it's, it's quieter. You don't need the sound shield. Mm -hmm. It doesn't leak as often. Mm -hmm. um, so there have been a lot of improvements made on this part that's been out for almost 30 years. And the other thing, too, is the uh, Mitsubishi versions of the Dodge oh, and yeah. Chrysler. So the Dodge Stratus Coupe, Chrysler Sebring Coupe, uh, okay. 01 to 05 sure. are not the same four speeds. Okay, so there's, there's still... You know, it, it's still just a Chrysler, Sebring, or a, a Dodge Stratus, but, but they're different than the sedan. Yes, that's yeah. a four-door will work on this solenoid. The two-door, this is not. So right, okay. It's a Mitsubishi. The two-door runs a Mitsubishi transmission. Yeah. The coupes mm -hmm. run Mitsubishi transmissions. The sedans will use the Chrysler four-speed that uses mm -hmm. this. Yeah. And this is going to go in the, the, the cars as well as the minivans and stuff, right? Yep. The caravans, minivans. Grand Caravan, mm -hmm. Town & Country. Yep, exactly. All those, so, all those vans. All the way back. So. And, and obviously, guys, if you're wondering what solenoid to put in, call up Adam. Yeah, we'll talk, I'll talk he'll, to you. Uh, he'll help you out with, with finding the right, the right part numbers. And another thing, too, I mm -hmm. guess, since we're talking about vehicles, uh, yeah. the LH cars, so the LHS, 300M, Intrepids, okay. this is not the solenoid that works right. in Right, they're still a front-wheel drive car. They still are. But, but now they have that motor in there that's the long way, right? Mm -hmm. It's not a transverse mounted motor, it's a longitudinal motor. Exactly. So it's not going to use the solenoid, it's going to nope. use a different part We have part a part number. number here at Wells for that, but uh, okay. uh, not the solenoid here. Okay. So. All right. Well, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. So I guess to sum it up, guys, you're going to install the solenoid, you get a gasket with it, make sure it's clean and dry, just like when you put a gasket together with any, uh, anything else. Do not apply any sort of sealers or anything to this gasket. Um, clean and dry, torque the bolts down. Mm -hmm. Uh, perform the relearn and top off the transmission, you should be good to go. Good to go. So you can fix you know, your leak concerns with this thing or uh, you know, transmission you sound code. codes. You code. And you ran into that yep. on, on your vehicle, right? I, had, I lost overdrive on, on mine and it was a code for the, the okay. solenoid pack. You replaced the solenoid pack, performed the relearn, and it was good to go, yep. right? Exactly. Excellent. Okay, so. All right. Well, I think that's probably about it unless there was yep. anything that else you wanted to me. add. So I'm okay. Before we go, guys, I just want to do uh, plug our social media a little bit here. Um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Wells Vehicle Electronics. Uh, <laughs> Wells Vehicle Electronics. Search for that, um, and you'll find our Facebook page and all, and all our uh, Twitter page and Instagram page. We update those almost every day now uh, with with fun information or technical information or just what's kind of going on in the industry. So it keeps you guys up to date and it gives us. Uh, Another way to talk to you guys. Um, every Tuesday now we're doing a Tech Tip Tuesday. So we just offer a kind of a pretty random tip uh, just involving automotive and, and technical information. And then every Thursday we're doing like a throwback Thursday, whether it's a throwback to maybe our old manufacturing plant or a throwback to some old vehicles or something like mm -hmm. that. So we're really uh, striving to push these things forward. So definitely check it out on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. And we also share all the videos that we put out on YouTube are shared out on Facebook as well. So if you aren't a YouTube uh, user, but you are Facebook, you can 
you can view them there as well. Yep. So, all right, guys, Wells Vehicle Electronics, search them out on all your favorite social media. And uh, I think that's about it for this for time. Me. All right. All right, so thanks, guys, for being there. We appreciate it. And we'll see you guys again next time in the Wells Tech Garage. Thank you.